Wine aroma and flavour results from the presence of what are known as volatile compounds, wine constituents that move easily from the liquid phase of wine into the gas phase or headspace above the wine. We can detect these volatiles either directly via the nose as aroma when we smell wine or in the mouth when wine is tasted, where they are perceived indirectly via the retronasal passage as flavour. The olfactory system is responsible for our sense of smell. It comprises the olfactory epithelium located at the rear of the nasal passage, which detects the presence of volatile compounds. The olfactory bulb, which processes information received from the epithelium, and higher order parts of the brain, which decode that information to allow for odour recognition and perception. The contribution of different volatile compounds to wine aroma has been the subject of considerable research. To date, several hundred individual volatile compounds have been identified in wine, each originating from several different pathways. Many of the volatile compounds present in wine are derived from the grape, and these are often responsible for the varietal character of particular grape varieties. For example, the floral and citrus notes of a Riesling are distinctly different to the tropical vegetal notes of a Sauvignon Blanc, because grapes from these varieties accumulate different volatile compounds. Many grape-derived volatile compounds are known to accumulate in precursor forms, that is, they are bound to one or more sugar units, or as amino acid conjugates. During fermentation, these precursors can be metabolised by winemaking yeast or enzymes, which releases the volatile compounds into the wine. For example, the release of geraniol from its glucopyranoside precursor to give a floral aroma, or the release of 3 mecaptohexanol from its cysteine conjugate to give a citrus note. Wines fermented or matured in oak barrels can also extract oak-derived volatile compounds, for example, oak lactone, guaiacol, eugenol and vanillin, which impart coconut, smoky, clove and vanilla aromas and flavours to wine respectively. Volatile compounds can also be formed through chemical transformations that take place during ageing and storage. The best example is TDN, 116-trimethyl-1,2-dihydronaphthalene, which gives the characteristic kerosene note in an aged Riesling. It is worth noting that of the hundreds of volatile compounds that have been identified in wine, many actually exhibit little or no aroma. In fact, only a relatively small number of volatiles appreciably influence wine aroma and flavour, and these are considered to be more important from a wine sensory and quality perspective. The aroma intensity of a given volatile compound depends on its concentration in wine, its volatility, that is how readily it moves from the liquid to the gas phase, and its odour activity value, or OAV. The detection threshold of a volatile compound is the minimum concentration at which it can be detected. In comparison, a recognition threshold is the concentration at which a volatile can be both detected and identified. If a volatile compound incurs in a wine at a concentration that far exceeds its detection threshold, then it's likely to make a significant contribution to wine aroma. However, at sub-threshold concentrations, volatile compounds are unlikely to have much of a direct impact on wine aroma. The odour activity value, or OAV, was devised as a measure of the sensory importance of a volatile compound and is calculated as the ratio of the concentration of a volatile compound relative to its detection threshold. Despite being the most abundant of the volatile compounds listed, hexanol is unlikely to contribute any notable cut grass aroma since it has a high detection threshold and an OAV of less than one. In contrast, ethyl hexanoate and 3-methylbutyl acetate, which are also present in high concentrations, have low thresholds, resulting in very high OAVs. So these compounds would be expected to contribute apparent green apple and banana attributes respectively. You might encounter these esters in fruit-driven wine styles such as Riesling or Sauvignon Blanc. Although damascanone and inone occur at extremely low concentrations, 
Both are potent aroma compounds with very low detection thresholds and as such have OIVs much greater than one, so would also be expected to make important contributions to wine aroma. Wine scientists often try to predict aroma and flavour based on the volatile composition of wine, but it's quite challenging due to the complexity of interactions between different wine components. For example, volatile compounds often mask or suppress one another to varying and unpredictable degrees. It is also worth noting that there can be significant variation in our sensitivity to different wine aromas and flavours. Research suggests one in five people struggle to detect rotundone, the volatile compound responsible for the black pepper aroma detected in some Shiraz wines.